Journal Record Associate Publisher Ted Struley joins us to discuss other stories making news in business today. Ted, thanks for being with us. Glad to be here, Susan. Well, I understand critics are praising Governor Fallon's latest appointment to the Pardon and Parole Board. Tell us about it. It really are. It's former Speaker of the House Chris Steele, who served on the Criminal Justice uh, Reform Task Force. He's very knowledgeable on the subject. He's been a big advocate for reform. And this appointment's really drawing praise from all sides. An Oklahoma lawmaker is objecting to relaxed charter schools. What's the concern there? Well, this is Representative Tom Gann from Inola, and he says that, you know, since charter schools got started here 20 years ago, the legislature has given them more and more relaxed rules to play by. They no longer even have to be uh, chartered by their local school board. They can do it through a university or some other sources, and he thinks that the legislature really needs to rein that in. But at the moment, he, he's a little bit of a lone voice. Okay, this next question I'm really interested in. Federal changes are bringing horse meat closer for Oklahoma processors. What is that about? Well, nobody in Oklahoma is going to be buying uh, horse meat at the grocery store, so put those fears aside. But in 2013, at the urging, really, of some animal rights activists, uh, Governor Fallon signed a law saying that Oklahoma processors could process horse meat and sell it primarily out of the country. But they haven't been able to do it because the USDA hadn't had any money to come inspect those facilities. Now the federal appropriations folks have given them the money, they'll be able to get the inspections, and they'll be able to start up that side of their business. Okay. Well, an Oklahoma-based scientist has made an important discovery about an obscure autoimmune disease. What does this mean? Well, this is uh, Kathy Civilis out at OMRF, and she uh, and her team found a gene that could be directly tied to, uh, as you said, an obscure autoimmune disease called Shoren's disease that affects both uh, dry eyes and dry mouth. It can be really severe and very uncomfortable. It's a big step. An Oklahoma utility has been given the green light to make its case for a new wind farm, right? That's right. PSO has been making this argument for a while, and they've got the go-ahead now, so that'll get underway soon. And finally, what are you working on for next week, Ted? Well, Susan, the Corporation Commission has seen a big problem with overweight semi-trucks and trailers coming into the state. It's only a $500 fine. They're going to start working on a crackdown to curtail that. All right, Ted Struley with the Journal Record, thank you for being with us. My pleasure, Susan.